Today we're gonna to be talking about dermatology. So if you notice, I am back with the groomers today. So uh, we have three awesome groomers here at Fox Creek. Um, we have Dawn, um, who's right behind me. Um, they're busy at work, so they're just gonna keep their head down and keep working, but there's also Joanna uh, that's to my right, and then there's also Sam. Every one of them are awesome. Um, I can tell you uh, from experience, I have my golden retriever and my, also my younger dog, or my other dog, I have both of them groomed on a regular basis. I love it. Uh, they come home smelling fresh and uh, I'm, I'm almost addicted to it a little bit because uh, they come home so clean. Um, the groomers can tell you I kind of take a little bit of advantage of, of them sometimes because they look, they look so good. So they do a great job. Um, the reason that we're in the, uh, the back in the grooming area is grooming is actually something that often people forget with dermatology. So we are talking about dermatology, but I did want to kind of almost give you the analogy of a stool, if you will. Uh, there's several different uh, you know, legs to a stool, and you know, each one of those legs is very important. Dermatology, um, one of those legs on that stool is grooming. Uh, we can do all kinds of great medications, we can do all kinds of great food and different things to treat your pet for dermatology, but if we do not um, take care of the skin on the surface, if we don't take care of their coat, uh, then all the other things are, are really kind of almost a waste of money. So. Um, I really sit down with people when we have a, a, a case of allergies or a skin infection and I explain, try to explain the importance of, of grooming as a very important component to treating your pet. Um, it, it's, it's, it's almost a, a necessity to take care of that. Um, there's a couple things with grooming that are very important. We're going to be doing a whole separate video on grooming so I don't want to get into it too much. but. Picking the right shampoo is very, very important. Uh, we have a lot of people who come in and say, yeah, I'm using baby shampoo or I'm using uh, um, different types of like dish soap and different things, which are really not very good at all. Neither one of those can, um, are, are something that you want to use on your pet. There are shampoos that are soapless that are made specifically for pets. Um, there's also medicated shampoos that um, um, are difficult to kind of wade through all the different options. So um, I, I lean a lot on our groomers. They, they are very, very good um, as far as recommending different shampoos and uh, it's just a really important component. So having said all of that, um, I do want to talk a little bit about dermatology because that's something that uh, it's spring here in, or spring is right around the corner here in St. Louis. And uh, so we're starting in the season where we see a ton of skin allergies in dogs. We're in a very moist climate here. Um, there's a lot of ticks, a lot of fleas, a lot of external parasites. Um, so we see, I, I would say probably dermatology is the most common thing that we see here at Fox Creek. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very prevalent problem. Um, there's almost too much to talk about with dermatology in a short video. Uh, there, there's just so many different facets, so I'm just going to hit on a couple just kind of areas and you know we can go in more in depth. Uh, we definitely, I, I strongly recommend that if you do have problems, bring your pet in. We can help you. Uh, we're very passionate about treating dermatology. Uh, we see it a lot. Um, we are very up to date on the different uh, treatments. Um, so having said treatments, I'm going to start with another leg of the stool and that's medications that are very important with treating your pet. So I'm just going to break it up into just a couple different categories. Um, the most common uh, form of allergies in dogs is atopic dermatitis and that's something where they are allergic to something in the environment. So it could be something outside, it could be something inside. Um, and often with atopic dermatitis they have a secondary bacterial infection on their skin. So treating appropriately with something to treat the allergies, but then also treat a topical skin infection is something that we can quickly assess and uh, advise you on. Um, if you want to pan over to the right a little bit, there's a couple different medications, and this is just a couple of many um, that, that we, that we sometimes will choose from. Uh, but the couple that are in the front, one, um, Apoquil, and this is also, there's also, um, this is what we call Caddy, um, this is a canine atopic dermatitis immunotherapeutic. Um, this has also been renamed to Cytopoint 
These medications are brand new and they are game changers. Um, Apoquil, there's probably a lot of people watching this video that are like, yep, my dog has tried Apoquil. It is fantastic. It starts working within an hour, helps stop itching, treats allergies. It's unbelievable. It's really kind of revolutionized treatment in, uh, in dermatology. So if your pet has allergies and you haven't heard about that drug, you need to come in because it is, it is awesome. Um, it is not a steroid. It's very safe. Um, it works extremely well. There are very few side effects. Um, the, the, it is a pill form, and there's a, there's a, a couple different doses. We start at a twice a day dosaging, and then we can go down to a, a once a day dosaging on that uh, for maintenance. Um, Caddy, or the canine uh, topic dermatitis immunotherapeutic, or Cytopoint is probably the better name. Um, that is a new drug that just came out weeks ago. It's an injection. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just simply explain it. It's, it's almost kind of like an Apoquil injection. Um, it lasts for anywhere from a month to two months in dogs. Um, it works very, very, very well. Um, it's something where we give one injection here at the hospital and then, and then you're good for a month or sometimes even up to eight weeks. So um, that's another option for you. If you haven't heard about that, it's something brand new. Um, so if you're interested in that, Call us, come in, we'll, t we'll kind of explain that a little bit more. Um, there's a lot of benefits to it, so you know, we, can, uh, we can kind of go through those. Um, we really love those drugs here because they're effective, for one. Um, you see relief almost immediately, with, especially with the Apoquil. The, the injection takes a little bit longer to see uh, relief, uh, but it kicks in um, fairly quickly. So uh, one, they work, but then also they're really safe. Um, there's also another drug that's called Atopica. Um, that's cyclosporin, and that's, that's uh, a drug that's been out for several years. It also actually works very, very well for allergies. The, the, the challenges with Atopica is um, it takes a lot longer to see response. So it's something that you kind of have to be committed to. Um, you have to start it, and then you have to give it at least a month or two to just know if it's really working. So uh, for that reason, Atopica's, um, it's, it's kind of gone on the back burner just a little bit because Apoquil works so quickly, uh, but it's still a really viable option and it's something that works extremely well in dogs once you get it in their um, bloodstream and you kind of get them set up on it. Um, so that's another drug that we use. It's also very safe. Um, it, uh, you know, it, 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 we, again, it, there's too much information that I can give you right now, but if your dog has allergies, you can come in, we can explain some of those things, kind of tell you the benefits, the negatives to each one of these things. Um, also, I set aside prednisone. Um, this is a bottle of prednisone. Prednisone is a steroid. It has all kinds of yucky side effects. Um, it's something that we will prescribe if we have to. Uh, it is very inexpensive and it does work well, however, suppresses your immune system, there are a lot of side effects, um, it can cause some problems. So it's something that we um, only go on if we really, really need to. Um, so that's something that uh, uh, we only hold in case, uh, you know, we, we kind of hold back on that prescription if we, if, we, if we can. That's something that traditionally, you know, veterinarians, we, we've kind of gone to that first and because of the side effects, it's just, I, I'm not a big fan of steroids, but in certain cases, there really isn't anything that works quite as well. So, um, you know, that's still a viable option, but it's just something that we, um, you know, we reserve just in, in certain situations. Um, I also set aside a little bit of food. Uh, food is the other leg of the stool, if you will, the three-legged stool that we're kind of talking about. Um, don't forget food. Um, food is, um, it, it's probably over-publicized. Um, it, it, as far as like the cause of, of allergies, it's only about six to 7% of uh, the cause of allergies in dogs. So I know with media and stuff, we get just bombarded with a lot of things about grain-free diets and um, you know different things. Uh, but it, it's, it's kind of ironic because food allergies are only a very, very small percentage of the cause of allergies. And, um, and actually wheat or like grains are a really, really small component of that small, com of that small percentage. Um, they're actually a lot more likely to be allergic to pork, 
uh, chicken or beef. Those are the things that dogs are most likely allergic to. So I think some of that is kind of a little bit of a spin and a marketing thing uh, that, that uh, some you know, over-the-counter food companies have really tried to, to emphasize with, with the pet owner. So uh, again, just be informed. Don't, you know, don't assume that because your dog has allergies that it has food allergies because it, it probably doesn't, statistically probably doesn't. Um, Derm Defense is a diet that um, is not a hypoallergenic diet, but it's just a diet that actually helps with skin health. It's really high in omega-3s and all kinds of really good stuff that uh, just helps the skin be healthy. And the skin is a barrier, it's our biggest organ. Um, it's something that keeps all the bad bacteria and all the bad stuff out, but it also keeps moisture in and, and when it's healthy, that barrier is, is, is a really good protection for us. So um, different diets can really help that. And some dogs are actually allergic to different things. So doing a prescription uh, food trial is something that we also recommend. So as you can see, I'm talking on and on. Allergies is a huge, huge deal. There's a lot to talk about, um, but come into Fox Creek, will definitely help you diagnose properly, which is very important. Uh, but then also we have all the latest and greatest medications. Uh, we have fantastic groomers here. Um, and we also will advise you on food and other things that can be very supportive. So put all of that stuff together, you will have success. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of people who are really frustrated because their dogs probably had allergies their whole life and they're really frustrated. They feel like there's just nothing that's gonna help. Come to Fox Creek. We're, we, we will help you, uh, we will help your pet, 